Attention, Xavi pressures Barcelona to sign Liverpool's target. Liverpool could trigger release clause and sign $38 million man tipped to win Ballon d'Or. Welcome, my friend, supporter of the greatest club in the world. Let's get into the latest news of the Reds. According to Build, Liverpool is interested in Eintracht Frankfurt star Omar Marmouche, although they may face competition from Sunday's opponent. Tottenham is also in the race, with Frankfurt expecting offers for the striker at some point. Marmouche, who plays international football alongside Mohamed Salah for Egypt, has scored 16 goals and provided six assists in 39 appearances this season. The 25-year-old player's contract with Frankfurt runs until 2027. The Bundesliga club is only willing to discuss his sale if there's an offer of around $54 million, approximately $43 million or $50 million. If Liverpool and Tottenham are competing for Marmush, then it's clear which side should have the advantage. The Reds are guaranteed Champions League football next season, while Spurs seem destined for the Europa League, and even that could be in jeopardy if their poor form continues. Marmush would be an interesting signing. According to Transfermarkt, his primary position is as a forward, although he can also play on the right or left wing. This would suit Liverpool well, where interchangeability among attackers is an important facet of the game. We don't know exactly how Slot plans to prepare for the upcoming season, but it's imagined to be similar to how Klopp currently organizes his team. Liverpool may be planning a move for Mohamed Kudus. With Mo Salah's future constantly debated and Saudi interest in play, along with Barcelona considering Darwin Nunez as a target after a season of ups and downs, a gap in Liverpool's attacking line could open up. According to journalist Dean Jones, the Reds may try to sign Kudus. Jones admitted that talk of a potential release clause in Kudus's contract seems to be true, and Liverpool would likely be interested. It's very difficult to get a clear read on the terms of any release clause that might be in the contract, as nobody involved is really confirming anything. The fundamentals of the story seem solid, so my guess would be to believe that there is a triggering figure involved somewhere along the line, said Jones. It will be interesting to find out what that figure is, and when it kicks in. If it's reasonable, then you can imagine he could become a potential target for Liverpool, should Salah end up leaving after all. West Ham paid around $38 million to sign Kudus last year, and he had a great first season overall. The forward scored 17 goals in all competitions and showed good durability, featuring in 46 matches under David Moyes. However, there has always been a feeling that his move to the Hammers could be a stepping stone, given the interest in him last year. And if there is a release clause, the big clubs will be sniffing around. In fact, Caduce's form has been so good that one of his former coaches even suggested he could win the Ballon d'Or. Xavi is pressuring Barcelona to sign a target from the Reds, Nico Williams. According to Team Talk, Liverpool, Aston Villa and Chelsea are interested in signing Athletic Bilbao forward Nico Williams. However, it's said that Xavi is pressuring Barcelona to win the transfer race. Williams has a release clause worth $54 million, between $43 million to $50 million written into his contract, which will be achievable for most clubs. Barcelona apparently has some spending room and is also, via sport, linked to a transfer for Liverpool forward Darwin Nunez. In my opinion, if Liverpool wants a winger this summer, it probably needs to be one with a really strong goal-scoring record. Luis Diaz has performed well this season, but his output could be higher. Williams has only scored four goals in La Liga this season and has a 1 in 10 rate in the Spanish top flight so far in his career. Do you agree with the potential signing of Nico Williams by Liverpool? Do you think he would be a valuable addition to the team? Liverpool is deeply involved in the transfer of Feyenoord star Lucharel Gertrida, and I bring you everything you need to know about the 23-year-old player. Gertrida's rise is no big surprise. The Feyenoord star made his professional debut in the 17-18 season and is just four games away from reaching 200 appearances for the Eredivisie team. Primarily a right-back, one of Geertruida's biggest qualities is his versatility. Standing at 185 mil, he also feels comfortable playing in midfield, left-back, or even as a centre-back. Upon closer examination of his profile, it's easy to understand why a club like Liverpool would be interested. 
In addition to solid defensive numbers, he also poses a significant threat in attack. In the Eredivisie alone, he has contributed 12 goals this season, with 7 goals and 5 assists to his name. Of the times he scored, three were from open play and the other four from set pieces. Connections with Gear Truita first surfaced last month when he was spotted at Liverpool's 2-2 draw with West Ham at the London Stadium shortly after the Reds agreed to a compensation package for Slot. Slot clearly rates the Dutch star, and at the time of this video being made, it seems a real possibility that Liverpool could strike a deal for the defender in the next window. But is Gear Truita ready for the Premier League? Given the physical intensity of the Premier League, this is sometimes a hurdle for new players in the league. However, Dutch journalist Marcel van der Kron believes Geert Truita has the attributes to succeed in the Premier League. I think the chance of Geert Truita getting there is more than 50%, van der Kron told the Telegraph. He's on the radar and has done a fantastic job in the Dutch national team and the Champions League. He's the one best physically suited to the Premier League among all Feyenoord players. How much would Geert Truita cost Liverpool? According to Jones, the Feyenoord star could be available for around $25 million to this summer. His current value on transfer market is $27.4 million, so that kind of figure seems to be the approximate number that could lead to a deal beyond the boundaries. Considering his age and impressive profile, this kind of transfer fee seems like a decent value from an outside perspective. His current contract with Feyenoord runs until the summer of 2025, meaning the next window could be the last chance to profit from the 23-year-old player. Thank you very much for watching until here. Until next time.